All right, for the drill, we're running a single fill safe, and it's out of this lake. <clears throat> uh, we have a temporary dry hydrant set up. Uh, that's courtesy uh, Stan Merritt and uh, folks at ETT. He has some uh, dry hydrants that you could use for training and that kind of stuff, and we have it run out. He was kind enough to provide that. So this is Pike Road Engine 2. It's a 1,500-gallon uh, KME pumper. He's drafting off the rear. He has a six inch uh, rear intake with six inch pipe. So that's a good strong rear intake. They've added in some additional pony suction in off of his auxiliary on the driver's side to bolster his uh, intake capability. So that's Rick Dad going out into the lake. He's feeding five inch line. So you got one, it's like 200 feet up to a manifold. And the fella kneeling down right up in there uh, he's the loader. He manages that manifold. It's a five by two and a half by two and a half type of manifold of, you know, five in, five out type thing. They're loading let tankers. One gets, two gets hooked up, one gets loaded at a time, and then they switch over to load the next one. They've refined that. Now everybody has cam lock fittings on the back, and that is really increased the time or shortened the time in which they get back to the dump site, which you can see is up on the hill up around the corner. That made a huge difference. Early on, everybody rolled in with different fittings. Uh, the fill site had a bucket of common fittings and now everybody has those, I believe, and that has sped up the operation. So they're doing a good job. Rolling hills, leaving fill Getting them back on the road, loading in excess of a thousand gallon a minute.